Ellen Kander was instrumental in revitalizing Pittsburgh's film industry, and she also started an organization that helped find clothing for cancer victims. Five years ago, Ellen Kander talked to WTAE anchor Sally Wiggin about Cancer Be Glammed, a website aimed at helping women like herself who were fighting cancer. I thought it was really important, especially for my children at home, to see that I was doing okay. And by doing that initially for my children, it made me feel better about myself. Three years earlier, court records show her doctor at the UPMC Cancer Institute found a growth on her liver. Her oncologist said it should be scanned within a year to make sure it did not become malignant cancer. But the lawsuit filed by her family says that never happened. It started out to be the size of a marble, about a half an inch. And by the time it was diagnosed, uh, three years later, it was the size of a softball. By that time, it was too late. Less than a year later, Ellen Kander was dead. On Thursday, a jury awarded Kander's estate $5.7 million in damages. UPMC released a statement saying, We extend our deep sympathy to the Kander family. We do, though, respectfully disagree with both the verdict and damages, and we will file a motion asking the court to overturn the verdict. The Cantor family's attorney says the lawsuit was about more than money. During Ellen's lifetime, she expressed a desire to pursue this so that circumstances like this might be avoided for somebody else. And if the lawsuit brought attention to detecting cancer early, I think she'd, she'd be happy to know that. Besides starting Cancer Be Glammed, Ellen Kander also helped found Steeltown Entertainment, which sparked a revival of Pittsburgh's film industry. Her attorney says her social activism and devotion to her family was reflected in the size of the jury verdict. In the newsroom, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.